Converting between percentages and decimals. To do these sort of problems, you may remember that we have to move the decimal two places, and the question usually arises, which direction do I move the decimal? So I think it would be helpful if we keep in mind that one item is equal to 100% of that item. If I have one pizza, I have 100% of that pizza. And then we can go back and forth between decimals and percentages. If I have a decimal like 1, then starting with the number 1, the decimal would be at the back. And to turn that into a percentage, I would need to move it twice to the right so that I would end up with 100%. So moving from a decimal to a percentage, I'm going to move the decimal to the right. And then going from a percentage to a decimal, I would take that 100%. The decimal would be at the back. So to turn that into a decimal, I would move it twice to the left to get the 1. So from a decimal to a percent, we move to the right. From a percent to a decimal, we move to the left. Looking at these questions, 8.5% to go from a percent to a decimal, that would be the bottom part of my diagram here, I would need to move the decimal two places to the left, one, two. Since there's nothing out there, I'm going to put a zero as a space holder. The decimal is now at the front, and we can drop the percentage sign. So this would be 0 0.085. And then for the second example, we're starting off with a decimal, 0. 196 and we are turning that into a percent so by the top of the diagram here going from a decimal the one on the left hand side to the 100 percent if we're going from a decimal to a percentage we have to move the decimal to the right one two and add the percent sign so 19.6 percent 